guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 22 of Bookaween. It's going to be maybe a fun one, a bit of challenging and probably a little crazy. So yeah, uh, I don't know how I'm going to pull this off, but here we go. <laughs> so this challenge will be, I'm going to be meeting 24, for 24 hours without sleep. I know. This thing going to be... Okay, you guys are on, literally on books, but yeah, I'm going to be attempting to read for 24 hours without sleep. I don't know how that's going to work out. It is... It's 8.38 a.m. If you can see, I am in early bed, which is weird. And I, I used to sleep in. I, like, I still sleep in, but I just want to wake up early today, so... I actually woke up at 8 a.m. actually, so I'm just filming it like right now. So yeah. So let me show you my books. So my first one is The Hike by Lucy Clark. The perfect day for a hike, seeking the escape of a lifetime. Four friends hike out into the beautiful Norwegian wild, nothing between them and the mountain peak but forest, sea, sharp, blue sky. And wild animals. I'm pretty sure they have wild animals. The perfect place to disappear. Now, but there's a darker side to the wilderness. A woman went missing right here one year ago. Now the friends are hiking into the heart of the mystery. And waiting on the trail is someone who would do anything to keep the secrets buried. So, it looks promising, it looks fun, and creepy, all the good stuff. So, we'll see how this one goes. My next one is The House in the Pines by Adam Meeks. Maya was a high school senior when her best friend Alvin mysteriously dropped dead from a nomadic man named Frank, whom they had been spending time with all summer. Seven years later, Maya lives in Boston with a loving boyfriend and escaping the secret addiction and that has allowed her to cope with what happened years ago, the gaps in her memories, and the last time that she kept count for. But with her past, what comes rushing in when she sees a recent YouTube video in which a young man suddenly kills over and dies in the diner while sitting across from none other than Frank. Plunged into the trauma that has defined her life, Maya heads to her Berkshire's hometown to revive that fateful summer. The influence Frank once had on her and obsessive jealousy that nearly destroyed her friendship with Aubrey. In her mother's house, she excavates fragments of her past and notices hidden messages in her deceased Guatemala and father's book that didn't stand out to her earlier. To save herself, she must understand the story written before she was born. But time keep running out, and soon all roads leading back to Frank's cabin. So, it looks fun. <laughs> Alright, my next one is The Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. You must work twice as hard to get half as much. And Dina Walker has known this entire time she's been a scholarship, the prestigious Edgewater Academy, a school for the Umber Ridge and mostly white, New England upper class. It's why she works so hard to be perfect, above reproach no matter what she has to force on the surface. Even one slip could cost her anything. And it does one, and it does. One fight, one moment of lost control leaves a, and Dina blacklisted from a top choice Ivy League college and any other. Her only chance to regain the future she sacrificed everything for the for is to finish a high state contest sponsored by Andrew Walter's family family, in which twelve young ambitious women with exceptional promise are selected to compete in three mysterious events, the Ride, the Rain, and the Royale. And the winner will be granted into the fold of the Remington family whose wealth and power can open any door. But when she arrives at the finish, Adina gets a feeling that something isn't quite right with both the Remingtons and her competition. And soon it becomes clear that this large in the life prize can only come at an even greater cost because the finished stakes aren't just make or break, their life and death. And Dina knows that stack is stacked against her, it's only has been. But maybe the only way to survive the vicious game is for her to change the rules. And something tells me she will change the rules. But look at the cover, like the back cover. I don't know if you can see, but like there's like actual mazes. That's so cool. And my last one is The Black House by Carol Johnston. Oh, she's also the author of Middleland. I feel like I've heard about that book before. Hmm. A remote village and deadly secret, a woman who knows the truth. 
Robert Reed moved his family to Scotland's Alma Hayblains and driven by hope, scream, safety, and community, and hiding a terrible secret. But despite his efforts of fit in, Robert is seen as an outsider, and as alleged to be a violent Hayblain in storms, rage around him, he begins to unravel, believing his fate on a remote island of Canary cannot be escaped. All her life, Maggie McKay has feared something was wrong with her. When Maggie was five years old, she announced that a man of Kilmary, a place she had never visited, had been murdered. Her strange claim drew media attention and, and turned the locals against one another, creating rifts that never mended. Nearly 20 years later, Maggie is determined to find out what really happened and what the islanders are hiding. But when she begins to receive anonymous threats, Maggie is forced to consider how much she is willing to risk discovering the horrifying truth. As they say, listen to your guts. <laughs> so, that being said, these are the books that I'm hoping to get in my 24 hour challenge. So that's going to be a lot of reading. Um, but yeah, so I actually picked out ADM because <laughs> you're hoping, you know, I'm probably not sure if I will get all the reading before ADM then for tomorrow. But, we will try, we will see, we're gonna have fun. And also, I got myself a Norman shirt, it's Halloween, a spooky month. And yeah, we have the vibes going on. <laughs> Let's get reading. Okay, so I'm back in the caveman, <laughs> as you can see. Like, this is the only place I swear you guys will ever see me. <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes I record in my room, and but this is where mostly things happen. So I'm calling him a caveman, <laughs> but, and plus I got my computer here, so I kind of like to have videos playing in the background as I read, so, yeah, I don't know which book to start with, um, I mean, I literally just finished, I think it was like two days ago, the Hammock Island, which was, it was, it wasn't pretty good, I would say. But I never really liked like, the ending actually. I don't know, the ending was kind of... Like the way how things were on will, you know, like, unfold. So... I don't know. <laughs> but... It was still pretty good, so... Maybe the hike. Just because I read an island book already, I kind of want to switch it up, but... I kind of read the hike. So, I'm hoping... Oh, this is such a short chapter. Oh, Something tells me I'm gonna get this too easy. Like, it is such a big, small chapter. Look. See, there's the hike. And I'm gonna need to take a hike so I'm, I'm just kidding. So I'm not cool. Here's a prologue. Never a good sign when there's a prologue in Holy Books. So, prologues, I'm not surprised. They're usually short, so I'm gonna skip it. Arrival Day. Anybody? Ta da! It's like literally only two pages or three. One, two, three. Like four pages. Like, this is gonna be a short read. Holy. Wow, I'm so surprised. Usually all my horror books are, are like more than four pages. Wow. How many pages of um, chapters are there? 82 chapters. Okay, no wonder why the book is, uh, the pages are so short. So as I said, let's get reading. I don't know if you can hear, but we've got the train running. What? That's... <laughs> spooky vibes indeed. <laughs> it especially gets creepier, especially like around... Late in the night, you can still hear the train. I wonder if we're gonna get the train in the night. So... Yeah, we're having a set in. <laughs> Oh, I 
hey guys, so I actually took a break from meeting. It's almost 3 right now. Um, so two hours ago, I was hanging out with my mom, and we went for a walk, and we went to buy watermelon for cop. Um, me love watermelon, so then let us go. Let me put you over here. So it was really good. Uh, she left about 1, and so almost 3, and during that time, I was also talking to my dad. He's actually in Europe right now, so it was kind of fun, uh, you know, for vacation. Um, but yeah, so... And it just ended in a video that's about to go live and all that stuff. Or live as in the next day. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've actually meant this much. I'm on chapter 16 and I don't know. Um, I think the pace is okay from what I can see. Like the author didn't just jump right into the mountain. It's kind of like, you know, getting ready, not like, you know, getting prepared for us. So we can expect it soon. So, so far it's interesting, um, I, but, yeah, it goes, it reads really fast, um, which I like. <laughs> I might actually be able to finish this book today if I apply myself to it. <laughs> so we will see how that goes, um, but, yeah, it's, I'm really surprised at how short it is. I don't know why, it's just so short. But, look at this header, isn't it cool? That's cool, but, um, yeah, so I don't, I, I don't really have enough to say because I've only read about 20% at least, maybe 30, give or take, um, but yeah, so far it, we're not at the hike yet, so I think we will happen that on the next chapter, and, or something like that, so yeah, it's going to be quite an interesting read, I hope it'll be good. Um, but that's what's happening. I'll be reading a bit more. Um, but yeah. Also, I have a sad day for you today. <laughs> Look what happened to me, Kitty. <laughs> I was just trying to clean because it was kind of dusty even from the inside. I don't know if you can see. But so I removed it and then I can't put it back now. I don't know if you can. I mean, you must, you must, you must leave, right? You probably can put him back. <laughs> I need my period. How am I supposed to, you know, finish my story? I can't have him without it. <laughs> I mean, it still works, so... Uh, why did I have to touch it? <laughs> it's one of, those, one of those dumb moments. But I will find a way on how to fix it. So don't you worry, my laptop will be whole again. <laughs> oh, at least that's the goal. Let's get back to reading. Oh my god, I finished it. Oh, y'all never... <laughs> I'm not even trying to say. Don't judge a book by its color. Just because it's short, it doesn't mean you will get by quickly. Oh my god. It really took me the whole day to read this book. Oh, I should have strategized this so much. Oh my god, I'm just so exhausted from reading this. I don't think I'll be able to finish that, those books right there. I might be able to finish like maybe one more if I'm lucky. Or if I even have like the energy to even read more. Oh my god, I'm literally on the floor. I, like it's crazy. So, like I cannot sit on that chair anymore so I am on the floor. I <laughs> Uh, but, um, I don't know how to feel about it. Maybe like three stars, like all that alpha just to give it three stars. Oh, uh, can you see my eyes? They look tired. <laughs> wow, that book completely drained me. I don't know in the good way, bad way, most likely in a bad way. 
As a book with that many pages that are being short, it should not have drained me that much. <sighs> but I'm glad I got rid of it, so probably three stars. I don't think it was bad. I do like the mysteries and like the whole mountain mystery kind of thing. It does sense so. Um, I do think the story, like the actual storyline, could have been done different, like just because it's already been done like so many times, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I did, I did like the mystery though, and, and like the mountain as well. Although there was some questionable moments, like, if you're pregnant, why would you still go on a mountain? Like, yeah, just because like a few days pregnant, like, climbing a mountain is, is still a lot. <laughs> so, I don't know. So she should never have climbed it, and there was also a lot of sequins. And one of the sequins were like, sh one of the characters knew there was a storm coming, because the person told them, like, hey, there's a storm coming, maybe you should postpone it. So she kept that secret from the group, which I didn't get why. I don't know what she was trying to gain out of it, like, it was just kind of pointless to keep that as a secret. Not a spoiler, it's in the book, so. Quite literally, like, the first few, like, maybe, like, a third of the page and you'll find out, but. I don't know, just to me, random. It seems like it doesn't really make sense that you would keep it to the from the group. I don't know, cause not only you are affected by it, but the whole group is affected by the storm. So I didn't really get that part, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I should read more, man. <laughs> oh, I still have a few hours left. I don't care if I fail this challenge. I value my sleep. Because once I hit the bed, I hit the bed. You cannot wake me up, so good luck. <laughs> Until like 8 said, I'm thinking of like, taking like, a break. And before picking up another book, I, I can probably start reading at like 10. Because it's 8 7 right now. Well, probably 8 9 or whatever it is now. <sighs> and I, like, I, never, like, I don't know, man. I there were parts where I liked it and some parts where eh and the characters were eh. I didn't really like any of them. One kind of got me on my nerves. She's just too self stone self stone turn. Although what she did in the end was honestly kind of unexpected but expected at the same time. Um but yeah, I don't know, it, it, it three stars for sure. But uh <laughs> That took a lot out of me. Also, there was no reason for this book to have 82 chapters. It should have been done at 50, and that was it. Like, it literally could have been done at 50. So, I don't know. Like, writing like, thrillers about mountains or the island, it's so hard to do because there's a chance of just, you know, dragging it out, which is kind of what this book did. It did kind of drag it out. But, I don't know, it's just so tricky to write books like this, so, kudos for her for trying. Um, but, yeah, compared to the Hemlock Island, um, that was, like, honestly a fast pace, like, get, you get right into it, so. I do prefer Hemlock Island over the hike, but man, was this a hike getting into? <laughs> oh, okay, I don't, is there something easy I can read? <laughs> I'm so drained, man. Oh, I'm still sad about what happened to my keyboard, to my key. Like, I really had to take some chocolate because I was just so drained, like, I needed energy. Please give me something good. I need something easy to read. <laughs> How short are you? Are you short? That's a problem. I'm not counting the problem, but I usually are short. Uh, this one seems long. Okay, nope. Yep, this is long. <laughs> Let's move on. I will see this for another time. How about you? Do you have a prologue? Or is that just a more chapter one? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. How long are you? Uh, eight pages? I think it was eight pages. Oh, maybe not. I mean, the thing isn't so bad, like, probably pull it off. 
Oh, uh, maybe not. But I know authors much like to write so much. <laughs> How much time in chapters are you? 33, I think. Nope, just kidding. Oh, hang on, guys. Okay, so I wasn't off. There's 34 chapters. But the chapters are so long. How about you? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. We actually have a map for a whole crew on. That never, almost never happens. At least for the books that I read. And this one's long too, bloody hell. <laughs> Honestly, I'm desperate to mean something short. 42 chapters. I mean, they seem to get shorter. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll figure it out, but I definitely want a break, so there's that. Oh my gosh, this is definitely not a hike. Oh, <laughs> I'll see you guys way later. Oh my, hey guys, so it's like almost exactly 10. It's 9.58, but it's still 10. Um, I've decided to continue reading, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's, we will try it out. We still got a lot of time until 8 a.m. Or 8.30 a.m., I think it was. Something like that, but this will probably be my last book of this challenge, and I am okay with that. If I can complete this, I am okay. Because <laughs> that book was a nightmare to finish. Oh my god. I feel refreshed. I did some workout. So, yeah, I'm trying to change my body. Um, but, anyways, um, so yeah. <laughs> well, I should have to try to. You know, don't know what strategy for this one, because that book was not it. Oh my god, <laughs> it completely drained out of me. So hopefully this will be a fun one, and yeah, it was a good, long, much needed break. <laughs> I feel fresh now. So the good thing about uh, filming for book reading in advance is that I get to choose what day I want to film. <laughs> so that tomorrow I will probably film something else or maybe not tomorrow on friday um friday after work um <laughs> i almost like you film something that's not book <laughs> book reading so yeah fun stuff <laughs> so that's the good advantage of filming in advance i don't have to follow specific days to be posted like in the end, it's all gonna be posted on on the uh, days, so it doesn't really matter where I start really. So, so that's a good part, <laughs> cause yeah, you need a little break. So let's get to this. It's 12.36 a.m. right now. Um, I think I'm making progress. I'm halfway off the book. It so far looks really good. I like the mystery behind it. I may have figured out as to what happened when one of the girls who got murdered. I think I know who the killer is, but I'm not sure. But I think I know. I know, she kind of seems suspicious sometimes. Like, oh, she is not dead. And like the way how, how her character is and, and how she acts with different people. It might so it might be hard, but I really like it. We just finished the first round of the finish. It's like a competition game to get 
basically like prestigious things. Yeah, so it's like a contest basically and you get loads of cool opportunities from the, the almighty, you know, that thing from the high image. And so, I really enjoyed so far, um, but, yeah, like, honestly, it's really cool, I think it's really cool in the, yeah, I like how you really have to be brutal in this game, from what I can tell, because if you're too soft, you're gonna have more of a chance to, you know, to die than to win, because that's how the games are played. So we already have several characters' deaths in the book because of the games, that's just how it is, that's the nature of it. Um, but yeah, there's this one girl, I don't really like her, I don't know what her deal is, but her attitude and better than everyone else is so annoying and over the top. So I kinda wish she died and of the other one, but oh well. Um, <laughs> I'm sure she will get her karma eventually, but yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, and we also have like this popular girl, she thinks she's better than everyone else as well, but in reality she's actually going broke, so jokes on her I guess, but in, in, you know, in that sense because she's been bullying a lot of people, so now I guess Karma also got her too. So that's why you should always be nice to everyone, okay? Even if they're being rude as hell to you, kill them with kindness. Always be nice to people. And so, yeah, so that's a game, uh, but, um, uh, I did not think of this challenge that well. <laughs> like, they, um, that, the first book they read for this challenge took a lot out of me. But, but yeah, I think we're still doing events, well, 39 a.m. Like, I'm in the mood to eat something, but it's late in the night. And that won't really be good for your digestion, but you know, I need something to limit up my energy for this challenge. I probably won't eat something heavy, so, you know, something light, like a snack. A light snack, but um... Wow. <laughs> what was I thinking? My sleep schedule is going to get all messed up. I'll probably be... Honestly, I'll probably be going... Um, sorry. Um, I was probably like going maybe at like 4 a.m. to bed, honestly, like this challenge will be done by that point because <laughs> I don't have that much. And honestly, I don't have any energy to read the other two books, like I'm done. <laughs> but me and my crazy ideas, that's what happens when you're an author. <laughs> so I think I'm going to rest for a bit because I've done quite a lot of reading in a few hours and I'm definitely gonna go get a snack because I need some. So yeah that's game plan and I'm drinking like quite a lot of water like I never drink this much water. I probably drink like five cups by now you know honestly yeah, like I went to the bathroom so many times. <laughs> I mean it's a good thing and that means your bladder is working so don't hold your pee. You never want to do it either. And so oh man I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, I did not think through this challenge that well. But it's all good, it's all for the games. Um, yeah, I am definitely will probably take a reload from all the reading of the month of October. You know, just go book shopping or book window. You know, like how you would do window shop. I'm gonna do that with books. Cause, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but okay. So I will see you guys in a bit. <laughs> guys, I think I'm calling it quits. Oh, let's face me. Like, it's 1 oh, 1 11 a.m. I'm on chapter 21. 21. I think I'm done. Like, I can't process things anymore. So, I don't care if I cheat. I'm done. My brain's done. <laughs> so. Um, I'll probably get up like early in the morning, maybe 6, 7. I know that's a leave a lot of time for me to read it, but that's okay. I didn't finish that one draining book and that's enough for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, when you're doing these kind of challenges, you want to do some strategy with it. Which I did not do. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning and see how things worked out.
goodbye. <laughs> I value my sleep, okay? I love to sleep. <laughs> so, maybe another day when I can actually be more prepared for this kind of challenge. But today, nah. -uh. So, bye! <laughs> Hello you guys, I'm coming here to end of the challenge. I did not need anything at all. I quite literally woke up 7.30 a.m. and it is 8.23 a.m. I know not my time yet, but I'm ending it off. <laughs> That's there's really no point. So I didn't wake up as how I wanted to, since again I woke up at 7.30. But wow, did this challenge ever drain me? <laughs> So the moral of the story is that when you have challenges like this, you have to strategize what to read. <laughs> so if you have like short books, start with that one and then work your way up. <laughs> so I should have done that, but obviously I didn't. So that's on me, but um, yeah, um, I kind of wished I had went throughout the night, maybe until like 3 a.m., 3.30ish, because I don't know, I really felt like I could have done it, but I was just way too tired to even read anymore. Like, my brain was dead. <laughs> like, point blank, my brain was like, nope, no more. <laughs> so, then I didn't really want to force myself because uh, I wouldn't be able to understand what's happening in a book because my brain is gonna be dead. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm probably still read the book for October just because I really have like this much left so and I really do enjoy it it may be a four star too so yeah <laughs> but I hope you guys like this I hope you let me know if you're gonna try this challenge uh, I really want to know so and otherwise if you like this please like comment subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I'll see you on my next one bye